Come in. Oh, good evening. Rosemary, if you're looking for David... He's, he's on duty at reception. I know, I've just seen him. And he asked you to come and wait in here. That's right, yes, we're uh, having dinner together as soon as he's free. Well, wouldn't you like to go into the sitting room? I mean, you'd be more comfortable there, and uh, Sandy and I have got one or two odd jobs to finish up before oh. I go home. Oh, I'm sorry, and I've interrupted you. Oh, what a pity, because there was something I wanted to ask you. Oh, dear, well, could it wait till tomorrow? Well, I suppose it could, but... I want to ask your advice. It's really rather a personal matter. Uh, well, look, if you want me to push off... No, uh, no, actually, I was hoping to talk to both of you, but, of course, if this is a bad moment... But... No, 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 sit down and uh, tell us what it's all about. Well, it's um, just a little idea I've been discussing with David. Oh, yes, to do with this secretary business, this friend of yours. Oh, no, 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 it's to do with buying a block of David shares in the motel so that I can buy into the board of directors. What? You say you've discussed this with David? Oh, yes, we talked it over once or twice. And what did David say exactly? Well, he said he'd think it over. Did he? You see, there are several points in favour of this scheme. As you know, I have had experience in this business, so I would be able to help. I wouldn't want you to feel you were just um, carrying a passenger, so to speak. Thank you. And from a personal point of view, it would obviously be a financial investment for me. And as for David, he... No, no, I don't want to talk about that. Um, it wouldn't be fair. I just want to put the idea to you in the most general terms to get your reaction. Well, obviously, it is a very interesting idea. But as you've taken me by surprise, I have to have time to think about it. Oh, yes, of course, I quite understand. You'll want to talk it over with Sandy as well. Now, don't worry about me anymore. I'll leave you both in peace. I'll go to my chalet until Dave is ready for supper. Good night. What are you doing? I am trying to make a phone call. I'm trying not to lose my temper. You had no right to discuss it with Rosemary without telling me. I had every right. She simply asked me to sell her a block of shares. And you said you'd think about it. How could you? Well, I don't need your permission every time I have a conversation with my wife. Your wife? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, my ex-wife. You know perfectly well what I mean. Yes, and I also know that your marriage finally broke up because you found her impossible to live with. Now, that has nothing to do with what we I discussed. I think it's got everything to do with it. You know as well as I do, she's a difficult, selfish person. She's caused nothing but trouble since I first met her. I can't allow you to talk about Rosemary in that and way. And this is the woman that you proposed to make into a co-director of this motel. I didn't say think. I was proposing to make her a co-director of the motel. And that's what she'll become if you sell her these shares, isn't it? Well, isn't it? Are you going on with this scheme or aren't you? Well, why shouldn't I? Without even consulting me. Yes, why not? You gave me a very good precedent in the way you behave with Hugh. Why shouldn't I follow your example?